Aya 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 haya ha Aya haya ha I will never be the same I touch your grace my life must change I will never be the same I touch your grace, my life must change. I will never be the same. I touch your grace, my life must change. I will never be the same. I touch your grace, my life must change. Aya haya ha ha Aya haya ha ha Hallelujah A lot of times the reason why we don't know the potency of a song is because we do not personalize the song have you been in a situation where you sing a song and it means as though the song was written for you? I don't know about you, but sometimes songs are seasonal. If you wake up sometimes and you wake up with the euphoria of a song and suddenly a song you neglected for so long a time, now you begin to look for it to find it again. And sometimes you are the one that even used your hand to delete the song, but now you even use your mind to download it. Why? Because at that time the song is ministering to you. At that time, the song const, con, uh, constitutes the substance of the reality where which you are going to at the moment. I need you to understand that there are songs that we call the song of ascent. There are songs you sing in season that grant unto you ascendance into the realm of the spirit. And that is why it's important for people that are called into the office of the psalmist to understand that they are not just called to sing songs. No, they are called to administer spirit because those songs must sustain the capacity to be able to transport us. To be able to ensure that weak men are made strong. The Bible says, by the river of Babylon. Right? Is it by the river of Babylon? There they sat down where they wept as they remember Zion. Because somehow they found themselves in a strange land. And they are demanded to sing the Lord's song in a strange land. And the question was, how would they be able to sing the Lord's song in a strange land? It's like when you find yourself in China. I know in China, as everybody says, Fusha Shu, Fusha Shua. And then you want to sing the song of your language. Nobody will understand. You look like a stupid man. So that was how the, that was your situation. <coughs> the song does not carry power. You find yourself in China, everybody is speaking Chinese. And you're wondering, will God even hear you in this kind of place? Because in the church where you find yourself there, they are worshiping. Have you ever heard a worship song of Chinese before? Yes. I saw one, it doesn't look born again at all. <laughs> and I wonder why the people were crying. That was a loss. To me, it was a strange song in a strange land. But to them, it's the song of Asen. And that's the same way. I went to a place. I never knew. I thought everywhere is Nasara State. And I went to a place and nobody speak Hausa. So I went, I began to read some of these uh, powerful Hausa songs. And when they see everybody begin to cry. <laughs> to my greatest surprise, they were looking at me. What's this guy saying? <laughs> and I realized that it's terrible. And I realized how much more what, what they said. That suddenly, they found themselves by the riverside of Babylon. And there they were crying. And the demand of them to, because they say, you must sing a song. You don't understand. 
They were beating them, sing a song. And the only song they knew were the songs of their languages. And nobody will ever understand the song. And for them to sing this, the Lord's song in a strange land, it was strange. At that time, you need a song of ascent. Whether they like it or not, chanting in Chinese is the same thing with chanting in India. Chanting in Nigeria is the same thing with chanting. So you have to learn how to just chant some songs. I get what I'm saying now. And that was what we were trying to do. But the, the most important thing about that song is that I cannot be the same. Why? Because I have touched the grace of God and my life has changed. It's one of our confidence in God that no matter how, in this our journey, in this our sojourney, you know, we can never be the same because we have touched something. The reason why you neglected everything to come to this point at this time to seek the Lord and being different from everybody that is in the hostel or everybody that is somewhere just sleeping at this time is because you've touched something. Nobody is just here by mistake. It's a lie. World changers, people that truly change the world, people that really change society are men and women that have touched something. And one of the things that you touch, first of all, primarily, primarily is the grace of God. When you truly touch the grace of God, your life can never, never remain the same. I don't know about you, but I experienced a tremendous shift in my life the day I encountered the Lord. And that is why I now realize that it's impossible for a man to advance and to serve the Lord effectively well if he has not found the grace of God. And sometimes it's disheartening, it's tiring, it's also weary for a man to actually be going after graces when he has not truly found the grace of God. The first question you need to ask yourself is, have I truly found the grace of God? The grace of God is a supplier effect that enables a man to be helped by God. Except God, except God supplies grace upon you, you can never be helped. You see, the way we pray, and people look at us and wonder, how do we pray? The truth is this, we pray because there is grace. We pray because there is help. I get what I'm saying now. You know, the supernatural mystery upon which prayer is facilitated. Is that Ashe? Is that Ashe? Wow, it's been a while. I missed you. You now discover the supernatural strength upon which prayer is advanced has to be by the help of God. I need to understand that nobody is praying here by his own strength. And whether you like it or not, we're not going to leave you. Now we're praying as some people sleeping. I saw other people were just checking their watch as though there would be a miracle that the watch would just shift and it would turn to six o'clock. And I was just, I was just feeling, what are these people thinking? You've never believed in miracle in your life before and now suddenly, every two, three minutes you are checking your phone to see whether the, the time will just go to 12 and then go to 6. Please, it will not go, please. You know, you don't know about this thing. Sometimes when you are praying, time never goes. Do you realize that? It's when you are doing cannot in that time will move. When you are truly seeking God, time will never go. It will remain the way it is. So forget about the time. I get what I'm saying now. Just forget about it. When you come before the presence of God, you don't come taking time. I get what I'm saying now. You are not supposed to take time. Mind you, what if God says we should continue for the next three days here? Some of you will be our enemies. Do you know that you desire the realm of Moses? Moses face glue. When did his face face glue? Moses, how many, how many days did Moses remain with God? Okay. You want your face to glow and you just remain for two hours and you're still taking time. In fact, the first, 40, the first five hours, Moses didn't even know, he didn't even know whether he's in the presence of God. Because if you take the tithe of 40 days, is how many hours? Just imagine how many, how many hours he has to be in the presence of God. So when he came out, his face glue. So it was not just a quick effect. Do you understand? We live in a very fast world now. Everything is fast. Fast food and all kinds of things now. Ladies like Indomie these days. They don't like to cook too. That's terrible. We don't do God fast. If it is God you are seeking for, you must give him time. Is that okay? If you truly want to encounter God, you must be able to give him time. Right. And let me tell you the truth. Whether you like it or not, prayer is a very hard thing for everyone. Is that okay? You have to be able to establish that upon yourself. Don't believe that anybody loves praying. You know, there's a way that we talk it and it looks as though it's very easy. Do you understand what I'm saying? Now? And that's why I said that anytime... Anytime you talk about prayer so much and you don't pray, you're a very big scam. The reason is because you make other people feel very weak. You make other people feel very... Um, you make them feel too guilty. Do you understand? And you yourself, you are guilty and you don't want to feel guilty. Now somebody listen to my message, I say, Apostle, I don't want to listen to your message. I say, why? Same time I listen to you, I feel, I feel as if I've, done, I've just offended God. I say, I'm not a sinner, but no, I don't like prayer. I don't like prayer. I say, that's your problem. The truth is this, you know, if, if I talk about prayer, we talk about prayer, and we don't pray, it's a very big issue. 
Just like they are trying to tell people to do something, they are not doing it. The person will feel very bad, but you yourself, you are supposed to feel, you are supposed to feel, feel very bad, but you are not feeling because you have debt in your heart. You've kind of hardened your heart so much. So what I want us to do is that we ensure that we are not scammed. Let us not just clap for ourselves and say, yes, we did 30 hours prayer and truly we never prayed. I mean, have you been in that situation before? I've been, for, I've been to a prayer meeting before. They invited me to a prayer meeting. They put very big hour of prayer. When we went there, I discovered they were just singing and clapping and they were preaching and they were just eating food and everything. I said, wow, this is not prayer. This is party. Even in party, they dance. And I realized that if you continue like that for a very long time, these guys will not survive in God. If we say prayer, let's pray. Now, some of people sing this song. Let me tell you. I realized that some people used to hide, hide their weakness of inability to pray in songs. When we say pray, pray. When we say sing, sing. When we say sing, we are praying. When we say pray, we are singing. Are you confused? Are you what I'm saying now? Please, when they say pray, we know you are filled with the Holy Ghost. Can you exercise it? When we say sing, then you sing. But don't learn that when we say prayer, you are now singing. When we now say singing, you are now. Do you understand? It's confusion. You are bringing confusion in our camp. It's not okay. And the challenge is this if you don't pray here like this now, I assure you, in your closet, you don't pray at all. I'm very serious. I'm very serious. We're in a prayer meeting and somebody says, ah, I don't just like praying with people. I say, You're a joker. <laughs> You're a joker. You like sleeping. <laughs> yes. Because some of, you, some of you sleeping is rejecting you, but you want sleep to accept you by force. I'm very serious. You know that you don't want to sleep, but you want to force yourself to sleep. It's a challenge. Because right now we say, let's stop praying. Now you now discover that you're not finished sleeping at all. What is worrying you now is a spirit. It's your, it's your ancestral spirit that you thought you would run away from them from Busha. You left them in Musha. And you came to Lafia. You never do that. They followed you to here. Have you left them in the Kadar Kwabe? Where are you going? That's why I go there. Yeah. They are just at your back. I'm telling you, they are the one telling you sit down, sit down. I'll close your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> and you're going there. They say, touch your hands more. Just go to that side. I went and saw somebody in that cold. You know, the cold here is normal because all of us are releasing carbon. But when you go to that side, it's only the breeze that are coming from everywhere. I saw somebody hanging there and you're sleeping. <laughs> so what kind of thing is that? Why? <coughs> Why? Do you know the funny thing about this? Whether you pray or you don't pray, do you need a time will still come and pass? Just that you'll be a scam because you tell people that you do 24 hours when you didn't do anything. Even two minutes you didn't pray because the one you did was in the flesh. Although we accept it, so you did two minutes. If you are God, will you answer your own prayer that you are praying now? Out of the billions of people in this world that are calling upon God this night, look at the way you are praying. Will you answer it? If there is a queue, they check, you know, there is somehow that in a queue, they check people that are very serious. Have you been to a place and you are in the queue? And there is somebody that is just shouting, shouting, and because the person is shouting too much, you don't allow the person to go. It's like that. Sometimes I'm assuring you, you must be that, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to put it. You must be that rugged and violent when it comes to prayer. All these gentlemen, gentle lady thing you do, I don't know why you people do it. That's the truth. I have never truly seen anybody that truly become great in this life without praying. I go to everywhere. I've seen a lot of people. The only difference I have with them is just that I'm praying. I'm very serious. There are people that know more than you. The fact they have gone to many schools or ministry, they have done everything. But that prayer, they don't have it. And prayer is the only thing that makes a man spiritual. I'm very serious. Do you know a Muslim can know the Bible upside and down? Some Muslims have studied the scripture very well. But the light of it comes by prayer. And that's why we have advantage on them. Do you realize that if you truly pray, your life will change? But do you know that you need just some encouragement to pray? I'm trusting God that in the future, I will pay people to pray. I'm very serious. I will say, David, from today, I will employ you. I will give you one million naira. just be praying. But ensure that you must pray one million naira prayer. You know what one million prayer happen? <laughs> I will take all your sleep. I will take all your food. I will take everything about you. No, Bessie, the house I came one day, I found this gate man sleeping. The gate man was sleeping. He said, oh God, 
What's wrong? The gate man says he's tired. So he felt like she sleeps more. He said, no, I didn't pay you to sleep. I paid you to stay awake at night. If you want to sleep, I sack you. Go, let me employ somebody that don't want to sleep. <laughs> if you're a security man, you're not supposed to be sleeping. If you're a security man, you're sleeping, then there's no difference between you and, uh, and me that I sleep in the house. Who is security who? <laughs> One day I wake up, you know we used to have dogs before. I had the dog, I just eating food for nothing. One day I wake up at night, I saw all the dogs sleeping. You know dogs who snore? I saw the dogs sleeping at the snoring. One put there, one put his hand on the other one like this. <laughs> and they were scratching themselves. I hear that, say, oh, come on, come on, they're the ones who stand at wake at night. You know you're in water. I don't know if you get what I'm saying now. Many of you are sleeping too much. You are like those dogs that are so sleepy. See, let me tell you, prayer is going to cost you something. What's your name, sir? Peter. Peter. Yes, sir. Prayer is going to cost you something. I get what I'm saying. Prayer is going to cost you something. Anybody that told prayer is, is, is lying to you. It's a very big fat liar. Baba Lola, you heard about Baba Lola? And when you want to call him to bless food, to not pray for food for people to eat. I know if I'm there, I will continue eating and forget about him. Because, <laughs> because he doesn't really want to eat food. <laughs> he wants to pray. How can you able to go? Pray for food and you just begin to pray for five hours. <laughs> because when they say pray for food, my brother will need down. So you are just know that you're going to stay there for three days. <laughs> imagine, imagine the kind of fast people fast there. I will just open my eyes and continue to eat. I'll eat his own too because he doesn't want to eat food. <laughs> That a battle that pray and pray, he doesn't like prayer. Prayer is hard for him too. Just that he's helped to pray. He proposed in his heart to pray and he was helped to pray. Do you realize that? And you know the funny part? He did, as powerful as he is, he didn't pray 24 hours in a day. Do you realize that? Jesus Christ took the apostles. Do you know you can who is better than Jesus here, please? Jesus Christ took the apostles by this kind of time. Eh? You know, among the apostles, among the twelve, you know, Jesus had different kind of followers. There is the multitude, there is the crowd, there is the disciples, then there is the apostles. Among the crowd is mixed multitude. You don't even know, maybe a hunter is there, a killer is there. All kinds of Muslim and Christian Hindus are there. Then among the disciples are people that listen to him from far. Then there are the apostles he called that he can send them. His wallet is still with them. They will not steal anything except Judas at twelve. <laughs> but when you give you that the wallet, just know that tithe will be removed. <laughs> so, so I need to know who are the Judas. <laughs> so I realized that, truly speaking, among the apostles, there are also three that are very close. The sons of Boanerges, they call them the sons of thunder. You have not yet reached the rank of sons of thunder. Those are the ones that they can just decide to call thunder on anybody. In fact, if you match the leg of Jesus, say, should we cut on down here? Jesus said, no, no, calm down, please. Maybe tomorrow. Because they can cut thunder. I get what I'm saying now. The sons of one and they had strong faith. These are men of faith. And they are very small among they are, they are I, I believe they are the smallest among all of them. Peter, James, and John, right? They are the last, last born. But you know, children have strong faith. That's why children are elders in secret society. You don't know that. And have a small child like this, he's an elder. He can come to church for the past 10 years eh? and he'll be attending meeting in the church. And nobody will disarm. Children, in fact, I have, been, I have suffered many attacks from small, small children. Now, big, big people. I'm very serious. Some of those small, small children, they have rank. And that's why demonic people believe that when they initiate them, they have enough faith to do anything. A child does not doubt anything. You, because of the way you have worked in life so much, you had a lot of experiences. I'm an average person like you now. If I remove your memory and I begin to play what is in your memory, there's a problem. I learned about the story of one guy that... <laughs> oh God. People are very funny. They said the guy is swallowing memory card. And somehow, he's, he's singing the songs in the memory card. <laughs> they said they need the guy to vomit it because they don't know what will happen. If you read the, the file for the video, <laughs> and you start acting... <laughs> Acting all the videos. So you know, your life, your life is like acting. Now I'm basic like this so that we can be friends. Is that all right? 
Now, many of you say we are very, very wicked. I don't know how wicked we are. Our only wickedness is that we wanted to be guilty of prayers. That's our only wickedness. Sincerely speaking. But we love you so much. That's the truth. Now, I miss you people a lot. You know. Now, while I was out there, when it's time for prayers, I said, stand up, stand up, stand up. They look at me. Who is this person doing? And I just remember, this is not SBI. <laughs> you know, I asked some people, start going out, start going out. People don't like prayer. That's the truth. But you must be able to love the culture of prayer. You must be able to love the culture of prayer. And sometimes I realize that one of our strongest challenge when it comes to prayer is our mindset. Those wandering thoughts and wandering mind. That focus. You need to be focused. You need to be very, very focused. Don't pay attention to all the distractions, the voices that come. That's the secret of prayer. It's not very hard. I'm telling you. When Babalola wants to pray, he truly prays. When Basida also wants to pray, he truly prays. Men of prayer are men that truly propose in their heart to pray. It's not as if uh, they don't come with certain kind of... Um, you know, there are a lot of things that we... Maybe we don't eat today well. Maybe actually you, 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 they just inform you that you have not paid your school fees. You know? Or maybe, maybe there is just some things that you were trusting the Lord for. And so then you didn't get there. You understand what I'm saying? And so you come to the place of prayer. And with those, all those experiences and everything, it has the ability to make you not to pray. That's why children are very good in prayers when you truly train them. Because you don't have many things to think about. You like this. An average of you, like I say, if I remove the memory card in your head and we look at it, you are thinking about too many things. Prayer is not even one of it. You are just here, but you are not at, you are not totally here at all. I'm telling you. So most times, because of the things we have developed over time, our memories are full with so many things. So we find ourselves thinking and wondering with our thoughts when we come to prayer. That is why. Before, you know, I, I had a lot, of, a lot of people say, you don't have to shout while you are praying. You are a very big joker. You will never pray. You will never pray. This act of meditation, you see, is stronger than shouting. Shouting is very cheap. For you to truly pray and meditate, you need to have mastered the act of shouting and shouting very well. Then you come to a point where there is a shout inside of you that is stronger than you. Do you know if you pray very well, even when you try to sleep, your spirit will pray. That's how meditation works. That's the that for you to come to that, that extent, you must have prayed very well. Someone like me, when I'm traveling, I'm always praying. When I'm anywhere, I'm, I'm always praying. I don't even know how because prayer is always going on inside of my spirit. But for you to come to that level, you must have done the kind of shouting you have shouted like this for many years. But you just begin now and you want to be doing the way we are doing. You're a joker. You backslide. You discover you're not praying. You're thinking about your, the girl you didn't ask out. You're thinking about the result you didn't check. You're thinking about the food you didn't eat. You are thinking about all kinds of things, you are into the movie you watch and everything. But you will be in the place of prayer acting the movie in your head again. <laughs> you have doing flashback. You see, somebody is there. <laughs> it's a challenge. That's why you need to pray loud. Because when you begin to pray loud, you forget about love. You can't flash back, you flash forward. <laughs> why? Because you see, your talking is greater than your thinking. As I'm talking now, you are thinking, me, I'm not thinking. Do you realize that? When you start talking, me, I will start thinking. You, you stop thinking. So when a man prays, he has to be able to engage his mind. I get what I'm saying now. And engage your spirit. But by the time you are just quiet like that, you now discover that your mind will begin to travel with you to realms you've never dreamed of. Only you find yourself flying with your Ken Atek. Actually, you ask yourself, Landing again, and you're now it's madness. These are things that affect people when they come to pray. That's why you must shout when you pray. If you are praying and you're not hearing yourself, I'm assuring you, I'm assuring you, you will not be truly really praying. It's a different thing if you are communion. Prayer is a different kind. There is communion, there is fellowshipping, there is intercessory prayer, there is supplication, there is thanksgiving. There is, I can be saying thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus, for three hours, and that's my prayer. But I won't do it when I come here. How can I come here? I'm saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Will you use apostle? Are you really, really praying? And I come here, I'm just here. Boom. You know that I'm just sick. <laughs> Maybe I'm suffering from epilepsy. How can you come and leave your room? Why didn't you remain in your room? I'm so tired as you see me like this. I'm very, very tired. But my cousin said I should just rest. I'll just come and preach tomorrow. I say, while I was resting, I said, why will I be resting? If I rest now, if I die, what will rest? Will I rest again? And I discovered that anybody that would do better than me, I'm the one that you say it. 
It's either you pray more than me or you know more than me. And I say, Philip, say, I stand up and go and add more prayers. And I realize that no matter how it is, as I come here, I pray. But you, that have been eating chingom, eating akam, eating kose since morning, you still came here again and you are still sleeping in the kose again. That's how you live with a man like that. I'm telling you. Can you be more serious and deliberate about this thing? I know you need encouragement to pray, but you see, sometimes you may never get it. It's the truth. Anytime somebody calls me or something, I say, eh, now it's prayers now. Of course, if they know anything, I say, you see, that's a problem. Counseling will never change you. When the counseling didn't end on prayer, it's a problem. So people get afraid to come. If you come, I'll tell you, have you prayed? If you have not prayed, can you not start the prayers? You must ensure that you continue to develop this culture of prayer. If not, you see, as we come here now, all of you are revealing your witnesses. It's your personal altar you're showing us now. That that's how you are. In your house. You are even snoring here when we are shouting. <laughs> then what are you doing there? That means in your house, if they carry you, eh, and they put you outside, you never even know they carry you outside. You don't wake up and discover that you, <laughs> you are actually sleeping outside and you are sleeping inside. While we were in science school, you know, I did government science school last year. While we were in science school last year, we used to be careful of people. When you are sleeping inside, we just carry you in the bed <laughs> and take you to the bush. <laughs> I will not leave you there. And in the middle of the night, when you wake up, <laughs> they will all come to us. <laughs> you know, sincerely speaking. So, sincerely, you must learn. You must learn that. You need to you need to pray. Hate sleep. Please hate it. No great man is a man that sleeps anyhow. It's a lie. I'm telling you, success is inversely proportional to sleep. Laziness is directly proportional to poverty. I get what I'm saying now. Failure. Any man that you see fail, check his life, he sleeps very well. He's going, he's very obedient and faithful to the spirit of sleep. It is, it is in the night times that life of destiny of people are, de- are deliberated. In the night. Right now, as we are talking now, is a time when they are deliberating about whether they should kill you, if they are allowed to live. You know, someone sent me a video of a lady that somebody proposed to her. She ran mad. Have you seen the video? Eh? Who has seen it? So we are online now. I'm very serious. Instagram. Instagram. Me, I don't know. I just, somebody just forwarded it to me on WhatsApp. He said, Apostle, have you seen this? I said, what is it? Says that how witchcraft worked? The person is not from Nigeria. Says that how witchcraft worked? I said, well, when you come here, you will know. <laughs> Maybe you, when you carry one leg, like, they, will, they will stop you like this. <laughs> I was very present when a woman took knife like this to choke her daughter. The hand stopped. I personally was paralyzed before by a small lady like this. And I was inside church. <laughs> yes. I threatened her. I said, if you there, if you don't leave secret society, I will kill you. She says it's not her fault that there's an Asian woman inside of her body that's making her do what she did because she just killed her father. She's planning to kill her mother. So they failed me and came. They bring me, you know, when you say you're a man of God, they will try you. Many of you don't understand how this will work. Sometimes it's very dangerous to be a man of God. You don't know that. But there are days I wish I can just be a normal person. Maybe demons will not want to attack me. How many of you receive attack every day here? It's only when you dream you call us, they don't have much they dream, they wanted to kill you. You don't know that we they want to kill us every day. Oh, oh. Now you wake up. I, I wake up again. <laughs> but yes, there was a night. Actually, I had a warfare. In fact, I thought I was dead. They came and tear, tear my body into pieces. And I discovered that I just came back and everything drew again. Just this evening as I was sleeping, sir, I saw myself in an accident and the car crashed. And everybody there, but almost, almost everybody died or were injured. And I wake up like that normally. And I discovered the only difference between me and them is I'm a prayer man. Prayer is your advantage. Yo. That's why when you see me come and you see the way I am, like, even if I don't pray, you cannot. I mean, I cannot, and you cannot see whether I will not succeed in life. I have prayed enough. It's like there is enough reservoir for it to ensure that my life thrives now. But I know there will be a limit. Because if prayer brings me to this point now, prayer will help carry me further. I get what I'm saying now. 
There's an expecting date to a man that does not play. You will expire. You will not know. I'm first, when you will expire, you will not know. You just discover that there's no energy. Just that when you refuse to fuel the car, when you are traveling, <laughs> the car will just stop on the road. It will not stop in the middle of the road. Because it has been telling you, fuel, 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 you refuse to fuel it. To just stop there. I don't know, Stephas is not here. Stephas, I don't know why Stephas like that. Have you followed Stephas before on the bike? <laughs> Stephas will not fuel the bike until then that we used to, we used to go to all this village evangelism data. <laughs> Until the two be telling you, tell you say, Apostle, I know this phone will not reach us. Said, then let's put it now. I say, right, let's put it. So if I would say, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Until the two will now stop on the way. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. You will now start looking for miracle for it. The other day he pushed and pushed his sweat. I know me now. I just took my phone and just returned some calls that I did not return. I was just on call for those long hours. He was just pushing and pushing. Yeah. You need to foil your life. Prayer is the foil for your survival. I'm very serious. I'm very serious. The only difference between you and men may just be that there is just prayer. Balance everything. Try as much as possible. But never leave that prayer. And prayer does not have many secrets. The secret to prayer is that there is no any secret at all. Every secret you know about prayer will fail you. Every you know how many people in CAC that cannot pray now. Baba is from there. They have invited me several times. They don't even know how he did it. They don't know. They think that there is no secret. If there is a secret, they will go and read it and start doing it. But there is no secret. The only secret, even if there is, is just pray. Because the more you pray, the more you get used to it. And the more you get used to it, the more you like it. The more you like it, the more energy is supplied for you to pray. Because the energy of prayer is supplied when you begin to pray. The Bible says the Holy Ghost grant them all trans as they began to so when you don't begin to, you cannot be given the utterance. Is that okay? Please, you must propose in your heart that I want to pray. I'm very serious. If you don't, you will never. You will never. Please. This prayer will help you. It will help you tomorrow. Huh? I know sometimes we look very, very hard. Like really, really hard on you when you come to prayer. You know, one day I sat down, I'm like, Kai, seriously, people are really trying. But when you travel, it's cool. people don't really pray at all. The people, they do all this online praying, all this WhatsApp. I don't, I don't do those things at all. How can somebody organize prayer conference on WhatsApp? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now? Someone wants to invite me on prayer conference on WhatsApp. I say, why? I say, can't you look for a bush? Let's go and do it in a bush. <laughs> Even if you don't have any event, let's go to bush. Let me see the people that are praying. Because that WhatsApp is terrible. Somebody can be chewing chewing gum. Or somebody can be eating pop, popcorn and indomie. And you'll not be typing one uh, emoji of fire. Pa, 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 pa. <laughs> and you think it's very, it's not very. So they have been watching movies in the parlor. They close their leg on parlor. And they are at prayer conference. And they are watching Nigeria movie. And they are not putting emoji or prayer. They will put somebody that sit that is is praying shagada, shagada, shagada. You are the one that is being deceived. All those kind of conference does not work for me. That's why if I insist I will do it has to be voice note. So you whether you like it or not, I will send you the voice note. Because you can be typing and you'll be typing amen, 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 and they're not getting anything. <laughs> I get what I'm saying. But the problem is that who are you deceiving? You are deceiving yourself. You are cheating yourself, you are deceiving yourself. Seriously. In fact, you know that even if you pray, or if you used to pray in this place, you will still suffer. Do you realize that? People 24 hours old. Whether you watch the clock and there are no miracle that will happen, that six o'clock will happen to this time. You must still stay here and suffer. You thank God there's no mosquitoes here. You will still suffer it. And you will not pray. It's too zero. <laughs> That's good. That's cool. But do you know that if you truly pray, you're not feel cool? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The reason why I feel all this cold here is because you're not praying. Is that messy? Messy, I miss you, but the way you are doing like this. Are you really sure you pray? I didn't hear your voice today. Some people I don't even know they exist here at all. I'm just saying that now that uh, we have returned back to the flesh more. Some people are even sleeping in even in the flesh. Ha! This is serious. You know that whether you sleep 
Whether you whether you refuse to pray or how we will not allow you to go home now. In fact, we will put a watcher in the gate there as you are going. That place will turn like an ocean. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Please try. Try. Propose in your heart to pray and God will help you. Everybody is feeling the pain. Though. Everybody is feeling it. But we just insist because there is no even there is no there is no any way out. We all are already in need. I get what I'm saying now. And that is why I realize that if I sit down, if I start feeling sleepy, what do I do? If I stand up, I start feeling sleepy, I walk. If I walk, I start feeling sleepy. Just ensure that you do something that will make you pray. I'm very serious. So if you now lie down as if you go like this, as if you are praying, huh, they are gone. <laughs> they are really gone. I'm telling you, they are really gone. How did I know? We went for a prayer meeting. After we pray, pray, pray. Somebody was like, we thought the guy was praying. When we are finished and we have shared grace, everybody is going, the guy is like, I knew. I knew, I, I knew that he's caught up in his spirit. I was like, what will wake him up? He said, mm, mm, mm. I said, I said, look at you. Look at you. And some of you have mastered the art. You can still be standing and be sleeping. <laughs> yes. Like people that are standing like this, but they are sleeping. I'm telling you. I don't know how they used to do it. They balance the center of gravity. They can't, they can't go like this. They can't go like this. Abba. Ah. It go too fast. Some fast. Some people have programmed their mouth to be doing like this. But they are gone. You are cheating yourself. I'm very sure you are cheating yourself. Seriously. You are the one that will not be relevant to. You just keep seeing us going up, going up. You see, we are praying, you are watching. You, you, you keep, you keep advancing. A preacher will come and preach and go. Prayer people are the ones that remain and change things. Anything that needs to be changed is changed by prayer. I can teach you something now. The energy that will make you change and do the right thing is not there. You need to play. I'm telling you. One of the reasons why people know things and still, still, still refuse to do it is because there is no energy of prayer. Prayer will force you to obey God. Can you try? Don't deceive you. If you sit down, you are finished to be stand up. Stand up, finish to be move around. If you move around, look for that effort. Hold, hold the person. Seriously. This is retreat. Do you realize this retreat? Or would you want to finish and not really felt retreated? Do not feel refreshed. Would you tell us the truth? Is that okay? Please. You have to try. You have to. Mm -hmm. That's why I always insist. I said that every time I will always deliberately let myself know that but no matter how much I hate prayer, I still love it. Do you understand? So that's the way you can program your mind to believe something. How many of you have ever hated somebody before? And let me see who are Jesus here. Yeah. I mean, you've never hated anybody. Wow, I hate a lot of people before. It only takes the grace of God for you to love people. I'm telling you. I mean, those people that stole, the person that stole your last, last cube of sugar. I live in a situation where you have something last and somebody came. I remember that time. We went to school and somebody just came and break our cupboard and pack everything. The person never leave anything. <laughs> and I wonder what kind of thief is that? <laughs> and then you thief and you don't even leave why you come and steal tomorrow. You steal everything. You know, it's terrible. I, I hated that kind of person. I remember I, I had a new phone. I just bought the phone. A very new phone. Very new. Well, that time that some of those powerful phones came out. That phone was about 50 something thousand, 50 thousand. I just used that phone for just a few days. Somebody came to my room and asked, asked me. I think I was in Kebi, Kebi State, something like that. And the person asked me that I should give me cream to rub. You came, I should give you cream. I said, okay, well, cream. How did I get the person the cream? After the person rubbed the cream, he now rubbed my phone too. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, I never imagined that people can be like that. He just took the phone like that too and went. Before I came out, 
He has calculated his way already. But am I not bigger than that? How many folks do I have today? What will I do for? What I need to understand is this. There are things that does not have eternal value. I don't know where that thief is today. I might have hated him by forgiving him. But his life will remain the way he is. I get what I'm saying now. It does not matter whatever you have lost in life. See, let me tell you, the secret of recovery and everything is prayer. Can you truly, really pray? I'm not just talking about this wasting of time we are trying to do here. No, truly, really pray. The Bible says the effectual, continual, heartfelt prayer of a righteous man. Do you feel the prayer? Is your heart feeling? In fact, your mouth cannot even feel it. Your mind cannot even feel your prayer. In fact, your body cannot even feel it. Your leg cannot even feel your prayer. Even you know you are not praying. That's you know that it's, it's just a joke. That's why I said you must confess it. You must believe it. Now we come one day. I say I will always confess that I love prayers. I realize one day I say hi. I'm to the resultant effect of the warfare dimension of prayer. Imagine if people did not pray for us, or we did not pray, or our parents did not pray. Do you think you'll be here? You'll be in party. Where are the people from Federal University life here? You'll be in party. I learned there are party halls around there now. Because there are no prayer hubs, people will, use, will go to party halls. Please, your life is more valuable than that. Is that okay? I always say you can be a fine girl with, fine girl with demons. You can be a fine boy with what? Demons. Prayer is one of the things that will purify your life. Is that okay? See, when you pray very well, there is nothing you desire that you don't get it. You know, all these people, people are looking for power and they are looking for Babalao. See, let me tell you. Even Babalao, there are some realms of power he doesn't have. If I meet Babalao today, I will tell him, do you want certain realms of power? Come on, let's pray. <laughs> Just keep your Babalao no wala. Serve your devil, but when we pray very well, prayer will enter your head. Me, I don't care. Do your incantation. Call your spirit, I will call my spirit. Let's continue. I will hold hands very well. So let's test oil. A realm will come that you will not discover there is power greater than the one he has. See, let me tell you, prayer will unlock every realm of power. Every. There are about there are about there are about realms of power. Prayer can unlock all of them. An average person are functioning up and it looks like the highest perfection. But prayer can unlock every of them. I'm telling you. They told you knowledge is power. It's a knowledge that is mixed with prayer that is power. Not just a knowledge. Go and know something. And if you don't miss it with prayer, it will remain the way it is. I'm telling you the truth. The knowledge that Muslims have that makes it work is the prayer they pray. Because prayer is what brings spirit into it. I get what I'm saying. Please, you must, you must of necessity, you must of necessity be a woman and a man of prayer. If you refuse to pray now and learn prayer now, if you marry tomorrow, your house will be prayerless. <coughs> and the reason why your house is prayerless is because you too, you are prayerless. Why will your life be less, less, less? Useless, careless, prayerless. Which one is again? Eh? Meaningless. Which one again? Useless. Useless. And which one again? Senseless. Senseless. Hey! <laughs> Foolishness. Fruitless, countless, worthless. Can't you add something more important? Anything that has less is very stupid. It doesn't look any nice at all. Everything less, less looks it looks very stupid. Do you understand? Just take all of the things they said now. Please remove that less from your life. Hmm? Please. A man can be. Can be. Can be a man can be a man that do not pray. Like you can you can live one day, two days, and not pray. So when we say somebody is not prayerful, it means that the person do not pray. But do you know there's another level called prayerlessness. There is prayerless, but there's another one called what? Some people have entered that one. Check your dictionary now. 
there is prayerless prayerless means you live without prayer let's say one day you miss two days mm -hmm. <coughs> some hours you miss and no Allah maybe we came here since we came here maybe we're in the flesh for like one hour after one hour you get up and you now start praying but some some people even after this talk now they still remain those ones their own level is now you're getting it that one is demonic I'm telling you now you need deliverance that's why the prayerlessness is what the deliverance is what and we'll deliver you tonight <laughs> Prayerlessness is a cause. The only thing that will deliver is the prayer. <laughs> and he must be delivered this night. <laughs> I'm telling you, people call for prayer meeting and they still, they still cannot pray. That one is prayerlessness. Because that's where you're supposed to see the deliverance. Deliverance come by two ways by prayer and by knowledge. But many, in fact, many knowledgeable people have demons around that require prayer to cast out. Somebody is nodding. <laughs> Holy Spirit of Jesus. <laughs> Bring her back from that level of prayerlessness. <laughs> what? The Bible says, Awake, O thou, from thy slumber. <laughs> what? <laughs> God can never live in the prayerless man. God does not sleep in our slumber. How do you have God that you sleep and you slumber like that? <laughs> what? The man say he wants to divorce his wife because she's naughty. <laughs> <laughs> now you say, that man cannot marry you. <laughs> you have, you have failed his arm. Ah! <laughs> what? <laughs> I, I can't believe it. All this atmosphere, you have entered lessness. <laughs> oh my God. I can't believe this. What? How? How did we get here? How did we get here? Chili sugar. How? It's a miracle. What? Come for the ID here. I didn't hear your voice at all. God. No, 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 no. No. We need we need to we need to we need to we need to, we need to do better than this. Please, we need to do better. You know, I'm trying to be as basic as possible. But I hope you understand what I'm saying for my jokes. Please, we need to do better than this. Mm -hmm. We need to. Please. And we can. You know you can. You know you can. The inability to pray is what we call prayerlessness. The inability. That even when you want to pray, you can't pray. That's why I say it's demonic. When a man is prayerless, it means he lives sometimes without prayer. But when a man is prayer, when he has entered prayerlessness, is even when you want to pray, you cannot pray at all. It's a demon. I'm telling you. you may never believe it. You need to be deliberate about it. You need to. You have to try. Propose in your heart. There is no too many secret to it. Just say, I will pray, and God will help you to pray. Anything you need about prayer will fail you. All those secret steps to pray, <coughs> lock your door, close you, lock your door and sleep. <laughs> lock yourself inside, knee down, you will do it and sleep. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. We told somebody to, if you want to pray, if you cannot walk, some people walk and see sleep. I see people are walking and see sleeping. You are walking and walking like this. You are not sleeping. That is sleeping. That is sleeping. walking. So that one is CF9. You tell people to need that, they need that, they sleeping. With the pain of Nina, they need that, they sleeping. We tell somebody to need that on stone. Isn't it Joseph, is Joseph Jacob that not slept on stone? That's Philo. Anybody, not start on my brother. Anybody, anything can become. In fact, a man that is less, less, less in prayer, anything, he can still do the less. Just propose, just say you. You know what I mean by you, we pray. Like be intentional that you want to pray. Not that uh, we are trying to give a formula for you to pray, no. Even if I say stand with one leg like this, or you will stand as you sleep. So just insist that you will pray. See, if a man wants to pray, even in an atmosphere that's making sleep, he will still pray. 
But like I said, you need encouragement to pray. If I say, if anybody that remain here praying after after the 24 prayer hours, we are going to give the person 10 million. Do you know you will not live here? Oh my. Hey, you will not see grace will come for you to pray. <laughs> and that grace is not from God. Because the grace you are having from God now, isn't it? That one is grace from 10 million naira. Money have grace, so respect it. <laughs> I'm telling you. There was a woman that was about dying. When she heard that they just gave her 50 million, she wake, she wake up. <laughs> yes! <laughs> the woman came back to life. Why? Because she don't want to leave that money for other people to eat it. Please. You can propose in your heart that you want to pray. And you will pray. If you say you want to pray, you can never be deceived not to pray. Never. And when you propose in your heart, God is going to help you. After then, you cannot find all those posture. All those posture to not begin to manipulate so that you don't sleep. If not, uh-huh. You are gone. I'm telling you. Do you know if you propose in your heart to pray, even if you lie down in the bed, you will see me praying. Like even if you lie down in a very good, you no, know, not all those bed that is strong. <laughs> Somebody bought me a very big bed like this. I thought it was a big bed. I never knew that all these beds as big as they are, you bring pain everywhere. <laughs> I mean, you know, you know those kind of bed that can really, you know, they massage you. I enter one car, the car was massaging me. I said, "Wow, that was like three years ago." <laughs> Plus one of these is this. If I don't want to tell you how much is the car, actually. When I entered it, it was a billionaire car. It was massaging my body. I was surprised. Because that was the first time I entered that kind of car. So you can still sleep in that kind of a bed. They call it water bed, right? And I'm telling you, you will still be praying if you want to pray. Some of you will stay in AC environment and you start sleeping. Maybe this breeze serves in AC for some people. Please, you have to propose. Mercy. Say, I will pray. Don't don't just, if you propose, you pray, you pray. Okay? Right? Then, like we always say, prayer is what? Innocent. Whether I like it or not, prayer has not done anything wrong for anybody. Everybody is against it. Everybody is angry with it. Prayer is what? But you must be guilty of prayer. You can never charge prayer to court. If you go, prayer will win you. Because later you still cry for prayer again. <laughs> when problem hit you, you will still cry to it again. And it has forgiven you. Okay. So I decide that prayer is innocent. I believe in prayers. I love praying. You see, Daddy Chapman did some, some damages to young people. I love that man very well. But you see, psychological books have to be read carefully. Many psychological psychological books as what made a lot of relationship fails. No, we are not com- compatible. You, you are sanguine. Me, I'm choleric. Your temperament is this. Me, I'm this. The lady have never complained to the day she read that book. The family was living very well until she now read what Karaska said. No wonder. This is how I am. This is how I am. They now start the psychology. But if you are not led by the spirit of God, you now discover you are aligning to a weakness. Because what the psychology will point to is their research. They will point to your limitations and your weaknesses. Every man has a weakness. All of us have been helped by God. You now neglect the help of God. You focus on psychology. When did you start trusting your mind? When was the last time you trusted your mind for anything? The last time you trusted your mind, you slept very well. In the place of prayer. So you need the energy of God to help you pray. So I decided that Apart from all those love languages, you know, many of you will tell us that your guys do not love you. Why? Because the guy did not do what? Is it guy the chapman or that man? Eh? That man said that he should do. That he should buy you a gift. And he should have quality time for you. He should do and do what again? He should give you attention. He should carry and all of those love languages. Young ladies, mm-hmm. your love language should be prayer. Okay. <laughs> Any man that prays loves you. Even if he doesn't buy a gift, he's buying his spiritual gift. <laughs> Yes, if your husband is playing, if he doesn't buy a gift, don't worry. He has, he has, he loves you in the spirit. And the, it's better he loves you in the spirit than in the physical. Hmm? Faith, please, you must ensure that prayer should be your love language. 
When you see people that pray like this, love them. Don't come to the place of prayer and you're angry with us. One lady came to where we are praying, ah, what are you doing like this? He said, we are praying. He said, wow. <laughs> he said, wow. <laughs> See, did we do anything wrong to God that we are crying? So why are they hitting themselves? Why are they why are they hitting the wall? They don't pray. They say no, no, no. See, they are they are looking as though they are mad. So wow. If prayer is her love language, she'll be guilty. Please, you must make prayer your love language. Can you? Do you understand what I'm saying now? Try. If prayer is your love language, you will love it naturally. You must also ensure that you agree to pray prayers. What I mean by that, you learn prayer by praying. Don't come here and you are looking for. Just pray. When you start praying, you will learn it. And propose in your heart that you will keep on praying. And agree to yourself that you will be a man and a woman of prayer. And also tell yourself that I will continue to pray. I will pray for a living. I will become prayer. What I mean by that is that you will become prayer personified. You'll be guilty of prayer. Tell yourself that you have been sentenced to prayer. Tell yourself that if you die, you will die praying. And mind you, like I've always said, nobody has ever died in the place of prayer. No matter how you try to prove us wrong, you will never succeed. Even if you succeed, we will still win you later. How? Of course. Just try to die now. If you die now, we'll lay hands on you. If I lay my hands, you don't wake up, my cousin will lay hands. Hey, sorry, thank you. I appreciate Pastor Sam Juwakabo. He, he's the one that drove me. I mean, he came to my house so we drive in. And, thank you so much, sir. Ima- imagine if if you refuse to wake up after I lay hands, my cousin lay hands, Pastor, Pastor Juwakabo will lay hands, Jonathan will lay hands. In fact, then all these other people will lay hands. If all of us lay hands on you and refuse to wake up, <laughs> we'll look for cold water. <laughs> Very cold water. Chill out. We'll pour it very well. He refused to wake up. We'll dig somewhere in the middle of this place this night and bury you. And go and tell your parents that you died in the place of prayer. They should be very happy. At least they are going to make history. The first person to die in the place of prayer is not a good history. Now, what are you telling me? So we'll still win you later. Because we'll meet in heaven. And when we meet there, you won't tell her we'll kill you by praying because it's as press. No matter how you sin, you are going straight. Are you know what I'm saying now? I mean, if you truly, if you truly, truly pray in the spirit, if you pray in the flesh, you know, we told you we accept the two kind of prayer here: the one in the flesh and the spirit. If you die praying the spirit, you go to express to heaven. But if you die praying the flesh, well, so you will not see us where we are going to be there. You went at the bus stop, <laughs> or you ask us for water. So please. I just needed you to understand basically that, please, there is no any secret to prayer. And a lot of times people want to hear the secret of prayer. Please, we have talked so much about prayer, put some about prayer, but it doesn't have a secret. The simple secret I've known is that propose in your heart to what? Pray. And God will. And nobody has ever died in the place of prayer and you will not die. Just decide that you will pray and you will pray. The Holy Spirit will help you to pray. The only secret is that if you propose to pray, the Holy Spirit will help you to pray. That's all. Is that all right now? And whether you like it or not, if you refuse to pray now, you will pray tomorrow. Whether you pray now, hmm, or you refuse to pray now, I know tomorrow you must pray. Situation and challenges of life will force you to pray. When Jesus Christ was talking about prayer, he said, when you pray, he didn't say if you pray. In the book of Luke, right? When they say teach us to pray, he said, when you pray, and I always say, if English means anything, when you pray and if you pray is different. If I say when, what's your name, sir? Thomas. Doubting Thomas. <laughs> you may doubt me. What's your name? <laughs> Jemima. If I say Jemima, okay, Jemima and Thomas. If I say when you pray, but when you come to my house, and I say, Jemima, if you come to my house, what's the difference? So, the other one is probability, the other one is assurance. If you come, 
it's probability. When you come, it's definitely it's assurance. And Jesus said, well, that you never see if. It's only the keeping to the kingdom. If I be lifted up, I will draw men. So you like, preach. If you like, don't preach. God will see you as another person. But prayer, when you pray, because the challenges of life will force even a man that don't believe in prayer to believe in it one day. So you either join us today very early, or tomorrow you come and learn the way of prayer. You don't need to know the kind of messages I receive from people every day. The people that have neglected prayer, the people that hated us, that used to see our post on prayer and get angry. Today they are coming like Nicodemus at night. How can we pray? Why? Encounters. Devil is dealing with them every day. And finally, they have have discovered that how are these guys living life superior and it's prayer. And when they come, I'll say, well, I'll go and start praying. (laughs) (laughs) Let's say, Apostle, I'll say, start for four hours every day because you you have carry over a lot. Just start for four hours every day. So, Apostle, i say, just start. Just lock yourself inside. Off your phone. I know me now, now suffer them with messages and books. I said, don't call me until I've listened like 10, and maybe I'll read like three of the books. Now they'll start suffering. <laughs> what they are running away from, now they are. You will pay back in tears tomorrow. That God you are refusing to seek now, tomorrow you look for him and cry. I told you, I watched a video of a lady, somebody proposed to her, as she just finished proposing to her. So then she ran mad. I was surprised. That's witchcraft. Very witchcraft. Where's I get a good people? One of my friends called me. He says, One lady ran mad there. Oh, you don't know. Does somebody know? I'm surprised. Somebody, a lady ran mad. Very okay for you, ran mad. I'm going to go so that we run mad together with her. But let me rest first. Okay, you are taking that psychiatry. I will follow her to psychiatry. Maybe we will free many more people there. But let me let you understand that the only difference between me and them is prayers. There is nothing. They may know the scripture more than me, but when I go there, I'm going to bring the possibility that lies in prayers. Why? There's a gift that comes with the love language of prayer too. So please, as we begin to pray again, try. Try. Force yourself to pray. We have prayed for almost more than six hours now. We still have six more extra hours. You know, before we used to pray 24 hours stretch. Now, people say we are wicked, so we try to balance it. Six hours, is it 12 hours teaching, 12 hours prayer. But still, you want to sleep now, and you want to sleep in the teaching session again. You will not succeed. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord God of heaven will fight you. <laughs> the God, our God, will judge you. If anybody closes his eyes now, you see himself going to hell. And you come back and start praying. If you close your eyes and sleep now, you see nightmare. You see people chasing you with cutlass. I'm telling you. Remember that time we want tell somebody, pray, pray, the guy refused to pray. One day he tried to sleep as he was sleeping. He had a terrible encounter. Somebody wanted to kill him again. When he came, <laughs> say please, when is that prayer again? When is that prayer again? I said, it's next week. Let's go now. You see? Now you have an encounter. This is no, no wait for the devil to give you emergency. Emergency situation. Please make prayer your lifestyle. Yeah. Can you rise on your feet? We are going to sleep again. Please, don't, 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 don't be afraid of prayer. You will not die. Seriously, this time we come and go. In fact, I may be angry that we be eating some more time. Don't try to tell you the secret of prayer that does not exist. That's no secret. I'm telling you, there's no secret. The only secret is that pray and God will help you. There's no secret. When they say, just begin praying, God, God will help you. I'm telling you, all the all of you that are feeling cold, 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 it's a lie. It's because you are not praying. I'm telling you, if you are truly praying, you will remove all this your clothes, your body. If only you agree, you are going to pray more than me. This came from Dubai. You want to put it? See, I need you to know that truly speaking, God can help you if you truly really pray. Is that okay now? God can truly help you. All this behaving like okra soup that I'm doing, <laughs> you have to stop it and start behaving like a wheat soup again. A goosey like- soup. Please. Is that okay? When we say pray, pray, all this you are doing, no, 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 no. Please, you must be able to. Huh? Please, try. You are not going to die. 
baba suku da ikon ka kachika ni ruhu ka baba suku baba suku da ikon ka kachika ni O baba suku baba suku da ikon kam kachika ni O baba suku baba suku da ikon O baba suku baba suku na ikonka ai suku baba suku baba suku na ikonka ai Baba suku, Baba suku, dari pun tak cikani. Oh, yeah. So can we just open our mouth and pray? Like I told you, no more secret of prayers. For person in your heart to pray, God is going to help you. If you want to feel cool, you will feel cool. If you want to give us expression to prayer. You give it expression. Ensure you are saying something. That's very important. Ensure you are saying something. Ensure you are saying something. Don't just be quiet. If you are quiet, your mind will overpower you. Your mind will drive you to places you don't want to go. Babelaina kubala da baba kule da baba kwaska balia la babanda baska bala tu asketete. We call this a prayer retreat. As such, we must have to retreat. We must retreat. We must. Shaba bela kumbes, man bela kuta bela tela kabaska tavelaita. Raba banda kwa bela tola ba kwaska brata babula da kaba kwaska balia la tabaskata. Maram baske, maram baske, maram baske. Naiba bando ba kwata bala da baba la kwata baska brata baba la tola ba kwaska dia. Raba bata kwaska brata baba la tola ba kwata balia la babaska dia. Mind the Bible, mind the Bible, mind the Bible, mind the Bible. Abang betua bakwat ababala tulat abakwat nak kabas kabla ababala tulat bakas kadea. Raban bet ababule itu. Raban da bakwat ababala tulat kabas bakwat nak ababala tulat bakwat kata bas kabaria la bas kata. Raban bet kuas kabela tele bakwat ababaria la bas kas kate. Raban bet kuas, raban bet kuas, raban bet kuas, raban bet kuas. Rabba na ibabu zale bedash, Rabba ba na baba na baba skabda na baba na dula baba skatad, ba inda baba oske, ba la ba iba kwata baba na dula baba na baba skabda na baba na dua, ba na baba ba inda baba ba inda baba ba inda baba ba inda baba. You don't need an encouragement to pray, you don't need a sound to pray, you don't need a microphone to pray. No. Bye-bye, bye. You only need the Holy Ghost to pray. As such, you must pray. Banda ba ba kwa skabela tete ya. Bada bai, bada bai, bada bai, bada bai, bada bai, bada bai. Mamba ba bai, mamba ba bai. Bala ba ba dan ba kwa skabala taba kwa tabala ba ba la kwa tabaska. Banda ba kwa tabala ba ba kwa nabala ya la ba ba skata. Ega bai kwa ba, ega bai kwa ba, ega bai kwa ba, ega bai kwa ba. Bando ba kwa skabela kwa la ba ba skabana na ba ba na dola ba kaskate. Banda ba ba skabela kwa te, ba la ba kwa skabela te, ba kwa da ba kwa skabana dia. Araba ta ba skabana na ba ba na dola ba kwa kaskat. Mara banda ba skabana na ba ba na dola ba kwa kada ba ba na dola ba ba skabat. Minda ba kwa skabala tam ba kwa skababa na dola ba kaskat. Apeta ibai, apeta ibai, apeta ibai, apeta ibai. Mara banda ba ba skabala ba ba na ba ba na ba ba kwa na ba dia ta. Ewa banda ibai, banda ibai, banda ibai, banda ibai, banda ibai. 
Bada in Baba, Bada in Baba, Bada in Baba, Ega Banda Basca, Bala Babanda Basca, Bala Bacuana, Badia La Babasca, La Batai, La Batai, La Batai, La Batai, Baba Bada Baba, Baba Bala Baba Quana, Baba Lana Babua, Banda Babasca, Bala Damba Pasca Ba, Ega Batesca, Ara Banda Basca, Bala Bacuana Ba, Banda Babala Baba Quana, Baba Scaba La Babua. Mara Baba Lava Bada, Wanda Baba Lava Bada, 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 you don't have to like it, you just have to do it. Banda Baboska Bella Tata. Babu Leka Bakwanda Bala Bakwaska Bala Dia. Baba Banda Baba Lakwa Daba Banda Baba Kwana Baba Lada Baba Ladia. Banda Baba Lada Bakwana Baba Lada Baba Waska De. Bans can bay, bans can bay, bans can bay, bans can bay. A cabale quai, a cabale quai, a cabale quai, a cabale quai. Babaria quanda basca bala babanda bala babasca ba. A raba bala babana babasca babala lula babana babua. Banda babasca bala bamba bada quanda babaria la baba. Bye the baboy, bye the baboy, bye the baboy, bye the baboy. Banda baba basca bala babanda basca ba. Arabe benasca benda quanda bala baba quasca balia la baba. Why banana was cabella do the bacasca there? Baba Baba Daba Banda Baba Dula Baba Casca and Baladia Baba. Not die praying, you will not die praying. Baba 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 you will not die praying. You will not die praying. Pray, pray, pray. No one has ever died. No one has ever died praying. You, you will not die. Baba lai, baba lai, baba lai, baba lai. Baba lai, 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 baba Baba Bada Baba Skada Banda Baba Baba 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 Banda Bala baba, bala baba, bala baba. Aja bala baba, aja bala baba, aja bala baba, aja bala baba. Bala baba, bala baba, 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 bala baba. Na kaska bala dia. Bala baba, bala kaska de de bes. Bye 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 bye. You will not die. You will not die. Baba la baba, baba la baba, baba la baba, baba la baba, baba la baba. Why are we make you stronger? Why are we make you stronger, my friends? Walla baboske, walla baboske, walla baboske, walla baboske, walla baboske, walla baboske, walla baboske. Banda baboska, bala babua. Baba bala baba bala babua, skada de de ske. Baba bala baba bala de babua, skada. Baba bala baba bala de babua, skada.